Hi, I'm Richard Kirsch from U.S. Action. Today we're going to talk about building an America that works for the 99%. We'll answer five questions. One, why isn't the economy working? Two, what makes the economy work? Three, how do we get our economy moving forward again? Four, what do we have to do together for our country? And five, what are we asking Congress? So why isn't the economy working for the 99%? The answer is pretty simple. For the past 30 years, the rich got richer, while the middle class and working families got squeezed and crushed. Now the richest 400 families own more than 150 million Americans. That's half the country. And those richest Americans, their taxes were cut in half. What did many of the biggest corporations do? They pushed up profits by pushing down wages and benefits and shipping our jobs overseas. Corporations are sitting on $2 trillion in cash. Instead of using that money to create jobs in America, they're making their CEOs and shareholders richer. And corporate taxes are at the, an historic low in terms of the economy and share of federal revenues. It's not like the economy didn't move forward. In fact, if our nation's economic growth had been shared fairly for the past 30 years, wages would be 60% higher. But the super rich and CO campaign contributors got the government to slash their taxes. And when the housing bubble burst, the government bailed out Wall Street, but let homeowners go underwater, drowning the economy. So what makes the economy work? The economy works when the 99% are getting ahead. One thing we need to remember, the American middle class is the engine of the economy. We all do better when we all do better. Middle class jobs power the economy. Deregulating Wall Street and trickle down tax cuts for the rich didn't create jobs. Workers who get decent wages and benefits, who can support their families, who shop on Main Street, that's who creates jobs. It's simple, really. Our economy works better when every American who wants a job is working. How do we get the economy moving forward again? Let's start by getting people back to work. A strong middle class, the engine of the economy, is built by the decisions we make together. Decisions to invest in our families, to expand opportunity and provide security, a world-leading education, quality affordable health care, protections at work, and retirement security. Decisions that will pave the way for businesses to innovate and meet the future. Green jobs, fuel-efficient cars, high-speed rail, fixing our crumbling bridges, roads, waters, and sewer lines. And writing rules that boost businesses that do the right things, like creating good jobs here in America, making safe products, safeguarding our food, water, and air. One thing is for sure, for the economy to work for the 99%, we'll need our government to work for the 99%. It's up to us to organize together in our communities across the country to make our democracy, our economy, and our government work for the 99%. We are fighting together for an America that works for the 99%, dedicated to liberty and justice for all. Our platform for the 99% starts with good jobs for everyone in America. Two, let's make Wall Street, corporate America, and the super rich pay. Three, let's use that money to invest in our families. Quality education from preschool to affordable college, a guarantee of good affordable health care. Let's protect Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid for us and for all future generations. And to do this, we're going to need to make our government work for the 99%. Stop corporate funding of elections. Make it possible for candidates who refuse big money contributions to win just with the support of small contributions and matching funds. The choice, it's clear. We stand with the 99%, the working families and the small businesses that create two-thirds of American jobs. They stand with the 1%, the Wall Street speculators and CEO campaign contributors who cut our wages, crashed our economy, and shipped our jobs overseas. The question we have to ask every member of Congress and every candidate for president is which side are you on? 
So let's recap the answers to our five questions. The economy crashed because for 30 years, the rich got richer at the expense of the 99%. To get the economy moving again, we'll need to make it work for the 99%. That won't happen by accident. It will happen by decisions that we make together. The first decision we'll need to make is to fight for a government that works for the 99%. This year, we need to tell Congress and every candidate for president, stand up for the 99%. Together, we can build an America that works for the 99%. Thank you.